how do folks how are you doing <laughs> well here we are again um, almost look like it's a beautiful day that way and it looks like fucking Kem Trail shit that way so what can we say sprayed um, so anyway a, a week or so ago I asked how much more of this are we going to take <laughs> and, and your representative has answered Three more weeks for now. <laughs> but your representatives, if you listen to one of the other ones, was saying uh, not until there's a vaccine. So which one of your representatives are you going to believe while you're hiding under the stairs? Do you think they're going to find a vaccine in three weeks? Or are you starting to realise there's a world agenda here and it's fuck all to do with your government? your government, the, the fake terrorist organisation, evidenced as terrorist organisation with case law to prove it. I know folks are having a little bit of a problem with that. Strange really, because there is case law to prove it. So why isn't anybody thinking, if there's case law to prove it, they must fucking be really, eh? So they have no lawful standing whatsoever. They have no authority other than that which you give them. Yet you're hanging on the hope that somebody else's country's president is, has got the milk tray man working for him and he's slipping you all this information of what's really going to happen, in, what's going to be happening. And you're, uh, are you forgetting, did you never know, or are you just got a goldfish memory? Well, President Trump has been bailed out off top of me head two times at least by the Rothschilds from absolute bankruptcy he's owned in complete by the Rothschilds you've all seen him dancing around globes with the uh, the Saudis you've heard his support for the fake Jews of Israel you know the genocidal ones that are killing people killing the Palestinians you've got the Saudis genocidal against the, the Yemeni that our country and countries um, appear to support with your support because you support the government now I'm hoping some of you watching this are going to say like fuck do I support the government good on you stand outside of me because as far as I see everybody's hiding under the fucking stairs too shit scared to say anything in case they get a ban from Facebook or if they get a strike from you to oh, fucking seriously? They're too scared to say something in case they're on a government watch list. Is that the fake terrorist organisation government? Well, if you're, if you're watching this, the chances are you're already on the list. If they're going to come around killing us all, we're already all dead, aren't we? So, what's your acquiescence about? I would recommend anybody look for a YouTube video from Observation Deck, A Letter to the Future. Pay heed to it. Be ashamed. Pass it forward and stand on its fucking information. Because so far, all folks are doing is whining and fucking whinging on YouTube and Facebook. Now personally, I mean, most folk know I spend my entire life serving fucking notices. I've been serving notices on the government for at least six months. And I can assure you at least 20 of those notices have been pertaining to this current situation. Yes, they're a terrorist organisation. I'm holding them um, to account by law and case law. Now, whether it'll stop them or not, I doubt very much it's going to stop them. This is what I can do. This is what I can do. I had three heart attacks last week. Three. I've been told my father, were estranged, had a stroke last week. A stroke, he can't talk. That sort of stroke, yes, that far gone. Yet he was in hospital for two hours and they sent him home to die. He's not dead. Not that I've been told yet. But they sent him home to die. This is the NHS, you're outside clapping and cheering. Have you seen the videos that they're making? the dance routines that they've got time to rehearse while they're not while they're not 
helping folk. These heroes of yours, the nurses, which I've always had so much respect for, and I know some personally, and, and I'm sorry if I upset anybody, but anybody walking in them places of business right now to collect a paycheck, not to heal people, you're complicit. I'm sorry, but you're complicit. And anybody cheering them on and standing up for them in any way at the minute, Seriously? Have you had any family members go in there and they tell you to go home? Have you, th have you thought about what they're doing? Is that healing folk? Is that looking after folk? Is that, the, is that your heroes coming to save you? Time folks started asking what's going on. Now I made a call to my doctors the other day and I managed to get hold of a doctor and, and I asked her what are you doing? What's going on? Seriously? Death certificates are getting died with COVID put on them. That's deceit. Do you also say died with a bruise to a hip? Or died from something else and, and he had a common fucking cold or flu? It's pure deceit. I asked straight out, what the hell do you think you're doing? She says, what do you want me to do? I said, stand on your fucking oath. I said, you need to stand on your oath. And I did swear. And a doctor in the normal circumstances would have took great offence at it and hung up. She didn't. She stayed on there. But, 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 but she had nothing of value to say. If anybody has any problems, they must go to hospital, she says. I says, hospitals are turning people away, telling them to go and die at home. They're not accepting people. You can walk into A&E, you don't get past the triage who send you home. You don't get to the wards. Whatever the nurses on the wards think is happening, it isn't happening. They're not getting past triage onto the wards. They're getting sent home. My own father, with a stroke, got sent home. I had two heart attacks refusing to go to hospital because I know the genocide they're up to. On the third one, my wife had had enough. She rang for an ambulance. Only way I could get her to put the phone down is to agree that I'd let her take me. They sat me in a room for four hours, or was it six hours, something like that. They didn't even take my fucking blood pressure. Heart attacks didn't even take my blood pressure. The nurse says to me, uh, the doctor says to me eventually, I've got your two, two sets of platelets, we've checked your blood, because they did take my blood twice, I've got to admit that. They took my blood two times. That's the only, only thing they did. They took my blood two times within that space. First one, she says, was 250 platelets, which is guaranteed heart attack, that proves heart attack. Second one was four. A few hours later, I had an heart attack a few months ago, folks might remember. I think it took about two months for my platelets to go back there. And please, some doctor or nurse, call me out on this. How quick can your platelets go back from 250 to 4 in your blood? With no medication, no treatment whatsoever, just sitting in a room between blood tests. I didn't listen to any more. I stood up, I said, I'll go home and die, shall I? And she just says, well, that's what, that's what the, the blood test says. I says, you never even took my blood pressure. You've not monitored me. You don't know what my heart's doing. You have no fucking clue. Nobody's put a, a stethoscope to my chest. No clue whatsoever what's going on. Other than two blood tests sent home. Well, not sent home. I was about to be sent home. I didn't wait around for it. I walked out. Does anybody, anybody out there, really believe these are, are working for their benefit? These heroes. These heroes. Now, I'm not saying that that doctor didn't genuinely read on that piece of paper what she's telling me. But when I'm pointing out the truth to her, she's still going along 